All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a review on this Capersi uh, classical lunchbox. Just so you know, Capersi sent me this lunchbox to go ahead and do a review, so I'm not being paid for this review at all. However, I'm giving my opinion on this to help you make the best possible purchasing decision. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing of this uh, particular lunchbox. It's 47 ounces, as you can see. Um, and then, of course, it will tell you all the information on it right there, overall volume, what's on it, um, and uh, uh, features an easy to open and close lid, uh, comes with a knife, fork, and spoon. This actually really would come in handy for just about anything, maybe eating cereal, um, but we're going to go ahead and see what it is. Uh, three compartment design, and compartments are separated to prevent food from getting mixed up. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, open it on up. And so, here we go. So it comes right there, just like a uh, in the plastic. So let's go ahead. Uh, oh, it's got a twist tie right here. So we'll go ahead and undo the twist tie. And take it out. This is a blue color. So this one is blue. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, there it is right there. So um, as you can see, um, like if I were to go ahead, I like to measure things like in terms of a mouse. So... Uh, that's a, an Apple mouse right there. So the bottom of that mouse uh, can show you exactly how it looks. Um, but let's go ahead and open it on up. So right here we got a little flip lid and this will open up and give you access to the knife, which is a plastic knife. So it's a plastic knife, uh, plastic fork, which actually awesome. It's uh, actually pretty sturdy, looks like. And then we got a spoon, uh, which is awesome too. So yeah, uh, looks like all of them, well, the fork, looks like the fork snaps in somehow, I think. Oh yeah, there it goes. And then the knife does not snap in. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and close that up right there. And it's got these two little lips or you know, these flaps uh, to allow you to open it on up. So we go ahead and open it on up and uh, there it is right there. So uh, that's pretty deep. Um, so you can actually put some chicken on in the inside right there. Um, you know, I don't think you could use this really for a soup bowl. Um, this is mainly probably just for like a, um, you know, like a classic lunch. You could put like half a sandwich right here, put some carrots right here, maybe put something else right in here. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put some items on the inside of it and show you what that looks like whenever, uh, yeah, whenever it's full. So, um, let's go on over there. All right. So you can see right here that I've gone ahead and I've, uh, started to pack my lunch <laughs> really. So I'm going to put some carrots in here. Uh, I was thinking about putting some apples in here at some point, but uh, today we're just going to do some crackers. And then uh, I got some uh, bread that I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, lay out right here. And we're going to make some uh, a sandwich and we're going to put that in the right right here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So that's actually equal to <clears throat> one full sandwich right there. And as you can see, I kind of had to squeeze it on in there. So you just got to figure out like what's going to fit right for you. But, uh, but yeah, this is going to work out really well. Let's go ahead and put the cap on it or the top on it. And let's see if that'll fit. Let's see if we can go ahead and secure it. Should be able to secure. I just got to line it up. Oops, there's one. Yep, there we go. Yep, and there it is. And that's going to be... My lunch uh, for later on, uh, <clears throat> later on tonight when I go into work and uh, we'll just clean it up there. And there it is. I mean, if I wanted to, and of course, you know, if I wanted to use this for like, uh, you know, bring some yogurt or something like that, I could use the spoon as well. But yeah, this is going to come out handy. One thing that I forgot to mention was that uh, something I did say in um, uh, the earlier part of the video, I did say, you know, is this could this be microwaved? Uh, no, you cannot microwave with this. So do not micro put this in the microwave. You're going to melt it, all right? So don't put soups in it. This is really good for just like, you know, salads, sandwiches, um, fruits, uh, fruit bowls. This is what it would be good for. So yeah, uh, I hope this helps out. 